Matt Lee here talking about high vis feminine colored braid on a spinning rod. That's right. It's what I use for most all applications. I've really gotten away from using the straight fluorocarbon. And it really doesn't matter whether you fish, you know, every day or you fish once a month, the casual recreational fisherman. I really recommend using this. It just saves so much time and hassle. You know, we've all been through when you're, when you're spooling up the fluorocarbon on your spinning reel, you have constant line twist. You know, I can put this on here and fish almost all year with the same braid on my spinning rod, never change it out. All I have to do is put the fluorocarbon leader. I use about a 10 foot fluorocarbon leader. The rod's about seven foot that you're gonna use. And so I go up and about halfway back down, almost down to the reel, but not into the reel. There's several reasons why I think it gives me an advantage. One is I can tell exactly what that bait's doing. When I cast it out there, you know, we've all had times we're fishing a shaky head or something. You didn't even know a fish was on there. It was getting mushy, it was swimming off. You didn't know it. I can tell when I cast it out there, I can see my line laying on the surface and I know exactly what it's doing. I know if it's still sinking to the bottom, if it's on the bottom, fish has it. Um, and, it and it really cuts down on the stretch too. I mean, this braid of the line has zero stretch. 10 pound braid, if I can't even cut it with my teeth if I tried. And so I don't ever have to worry about it breaking. You just have to get confidence in your knot. I tie a modified Albright knot. It's one I have confidence in. A lot of guys use it. You can look it up on Wire to Fish, check out how to tie it, go out when you're just messing around and uh, get some confidence in it. And I think you will really like the braid setup on the spinning reel.